Hey guys, this is MLB Clash. Sorry, this chair is really loud. Um, today we are going to be doing our first Uprising Stars video, and this one is going to be on Dak Prescott. Now, everybody knows that Tony Romo got hurt, and Dak Prescott has been taking over and has been doing really good, and he got them to a 7 and 1 lead. So, now I'm going to be going over his stats and what he can do to improve his game and yeah let's get into it so I have my phone here to uh, check the stats so first he has 12 total touchdowns 2 interceptions 2020 yards with 104 passer, passer rating and so in his first game they lost 24 to 28 he had he was 10 for 12 had two touchdowns zero interceptions now even though they lost he had a really good game so he the only thing I think he needs to improve in his game is a little better accuracy I know I know he is a really accurate quarterback but that's because it's only in like the 10th game next week and he is a rookie but he's only 23 and he's doing really well so I don't think there's much room to improve because of how well he's doing now but later he'll have some harder opponents see right here he has some difficult teams to face but they still did pretty good and that I think that's their only way no my bad guys that was the preseason so his first actual game, though, they did still lose, and that was to the Giants, 19-20. to I remember that game, watching it. He was 25 for 45, zero touchdowns, zero interceptions. But I think he's a really good running quarterback, mobile. And I think that's something that he can improve. He's already fast, but he can get faster and maybe, like, better throw on the run. And he... He is 6'2", 226. He is from Mississippi State. And he he's tall, but not as tall for his position as he should be. And, yeah, he, they, uh, in, I think his biggest game was against... Cleveland, where he has 247 yards, 21 of 27, two touch, three touchdowns, my bad, zero interceptions, and he got sacked zero times. So that's the good thing about him. He has a really good offensive line to ha have block for him. So he just kind of, he has a good protection, so he won't get sacked as many times. He has only gotten sacked this season 11 times. Normally for quarterbacks, now it would be a lot higher. But he has a really amazing offensive line. And go over some of the games here. They, they won second week to the Redskins. He had a really good game. Or then he got sacked four times and had zero touchdowns and zero interceptions. But I think the thing about him is that he's really modest. He's he just he has a good team and he probably knows that. And they're a winning team too. Like they have a chance to go to the playoffs and win the Super Bowl even. But there's some other really good teams that you wouldn't have expected, like the Eagles, they're actually starting to make a comeback in there in their division. So that might be one of their only problems. And so yeah, that's the first uh, Uprising Stars with the MLD Clash, me. And if y'all yeah, if you guys have any more suggestions, maybe in the future I'm probably thinking of doing Brandon Ingram, but I'm gonna plan it out better. I just wanted to get a video really quick. And also I'm gonna be making a video soon tonight saying that I'm doing a live stream. It's gonna be on Madden, a rebuild, and 
yeah, I'll see y'all there if y'all are going to see that. And yeah, that's it for this video, guys. As always, peace.